I think for here in the leaf and today's project is a vacuum cleaner hose and a couple of 3D printed bits and pieces. Uh, so what this is hoping to do is the ultimate um, most desired leaf modification possible which is cooling the main battery during fast charges so that you can fast charge without heat damaging the main battery which causes it to age faster. Before I get into this I need to confess that I expect this to not actually work. I expect it's not going to be that effective but I figure given that I've got a 3D printer and I can design bits and pieces I might as well try. The reason I don't think it will work is because the the main battery is housed in a tin can and the cells are bolted down to the bottom of the tin can and there's a bit of an air gap between the top of the cells and the top of the tin can. This gadget blows air over the top of the back of the tin can and that air gap creates a really good insulator between the cells where the heat is and the tin can which I'm cooling. So um, there's a question mark about how much cooling will be applied and whether, whether it goes into the right spot and then um, the other problem is the heat in the batteries is generated in the middle of the batteries and to some extent on the um, on the tabs, the connectors at the end, and that's not where I'm calling. So there's a huge discrepancy there. So it's quite likely that this won't work, but it's a pretty cool mod if it does have any effect. My best hope is that it is slightly effective. Um, maybe three degrees of cooling would be good which would just mean that I could multiple fast charge and stay out of the red on the on the dash. This project is not my own idea. I stole this idea from a Japanese guy who created something like this for the 40 kilowatt hour in this MF that he races. So his name is Terry Young. He runs a car yard um, shop called Cosmo Speed in Japan. Um, I'll put links to it. And he has created a kit set that you can buy, at least in Japan, for around 300 US dollars. He's used nicer pieces than I have, so this is probably quite, quite worthwhile. In his experiments, he reckoned that, that he has managed to reduce the temperature of the battery by 4 degrees centigrade, which is, if I got that, I would be really happy. So, let's install it first, and then I'll do a test run, just with it parked here in the, in the driveway, and theoretically it should show up on LeafSpy, um, which is reading the battery temperature sensors in the battery. So, uh, the front part, is really simple. Voila! And then the back part. This goes through here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the main DC breaker. So some people will freak out at the idea of opening this panel, which does have a little warning on it, high voltage. This connector is really well waterproofed and uh, very well 
secured against accidental entry or accidentally coming open. You, there's quite a, a process to actually disengage it. And the moment you do unplug it, it um, disables the, the main contactors from the battery so that the battery can't turn on. So when you've unplugged that, the battery is off and you can't electrocute yourself. When it's in like that, it's absolutely fine and shouldn't pose any problems. Uh, so it is my belief that doing this is not going to be a safety issue. However, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people out there who will freak out at the idea of playing around with this hatch. So this doesn't allow you entry inside the battery. What you're looking at here is the top of the can that houses the battery. So you still, you're nowhere near the actual live cells. All right, so this is designed so that the air goes through there and then gets funneled backwards towards the back of the battery. And in a leaf, where I'm sitting right now, is on the rear seat where there's a stack of 16 cells all along like a, a bookshelf and those are the ones that get the hottest typically when you're fast charging. The other ones are kind of spread out a little bit more and can dissipate their heat uh, more easily. Whereas this is like a big chunk in one solid block and there's a um, temperature sensor right in the middle of these tw uh, 16 cells. And that's the one that I'm going to be measuring and that's kind of what I'm trying to impact with this system. All right. At the moment these are just friction fit. This is a, an old Dyson hose. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, test number one. The first challenge is getting the fan to blow cold air while the car is not in drive mode. So the scenario that I'm hoping to use this whole system for is when I'm doing a fast charge. And so at the moment, I'm actually just plugged into my charger at home, which means because I'm charging, I can't turn the car into drive mode. Because I'm not in drive mode, the main battery is not supporting the 12 volt battery, which currently is sitting at 13, 13 volts. So when the blower is going not in drive mode, all the power is coming straight from the 12 volt battery. So in order to do this whole thing, you need a reasonably good 12 volt battery. If I go into monitor that mode, I might see some um, power usage here, but I've also got leaf spy, which is telling me that the battery temperature in the cells below the back seat is 31.6 degrees. The dash is saying 22 degrees. The battery currently is at 24.2%, which is fairly typical if I was doing a fast charge. I've got Leafs by Pro, which is logging those temperature readings. Uh, no, so let's try and get the fan running nice and cool. Oh, before I do that, the dash is... 48 degrees, so the dash is really hot in this sun. Um, down in the footwell, it's only 30 degrees. And the nozzle is 38 degrees, so pretty hot. All right, so let's turn the uh, air conditioning on. We'll turn AC off. We'll turn it into... 
face only mode we will turn that off and that off and that off so all the air is coming out of this blower and so now the question is will it blow cold air or will it just blow air that isn't being cooled um, there's a question mark about whether the cooling function will work when the car is not in drive mode I'm not sure about that 12 volt battery has already gone down to 12.7 volts so let's have a look see what's happening over here 35 36 there's a wee bit of air leaking out of here let's close that and that definitely closed still a bit of air leaking out of these so if I wanted to optimize I tape over those and there's nothing I can't feel much coming out of here these ones uh, there should be nothing coming out below because they're not activated okay let's see how we're going now 34 51 32 Oh, the other thing I forgot to do, turn the temperature way down to 18 and turn the fan way up. So that's coming down slowly. That is... that's coming down as well so that's encouraging let's let that run for a bit so this is this first uh, temperature reading is the one that we're interested in and it's come down to 31.4 already uh, that's not too bad that's something more than nothing oh, there we go no it's just wandering around um, the 12 volt battery is being drained at 20 amps, so it's at 12.6 now. Uh, my voltmeter is saying 12.5. So, in a fast charging scenario, the thing that might give out first is the 12 volt battery. It's probably the going to be the limiting factor I'll run it for another five minutes and check in again okay here we are five minutes later the 12 volt battery is still at 12.64 still drawing 20 amps basically um, and the temperature coming out of the vent is about 31 so that hasn't changed very much I think what is happening is in this mode it's only blowing air from outside through the system it's not actively cooling it so I'm just going to try AC on and see if that makes any difference so AC on I know from having used this when the car's in drive mode that in, um, in drive mode when you tell it to blow maximum 18 degrees it can um, drop the temperature really really well so I'm expecting I'm expecting much better than that and I'm not getting it so what if I do that what if I go full, full bore let's try that no no 
So if it's only ambient air going in there and going under here, thirty degrees, I don't think that's going to make much impact at all. Um, this is saying thirty one point four is the temperature. So in in twelve volt battery only mode not in drive mode, I think it's completely ineffective. Mm. Yeah. So basically using the cooling fan during fast charging is not going to work, I would conclude. That doesn't mean that this is a complete waste because you could use it before fast charging and after fast charging as you're driving along. It's pretty loud, so it would be really annoying. Next, I'll have a try with the car in drive mode and see if I can get any reasonable temperature drop on this, this first temperature reading. All right, let's try that. Okay, 15 minutes later, and what do we see? The temperature is at 30.6. The exit temperature here oh, is down to 12. So it's nice and cold there. And down here, that's at 14 degrees. This is test number one. Uh, I'm going to shut this down now. Oh, thank goodness. And what it is telling me is it is delivering cold air, coldish air, down towards the battery, but that's not really translating too much in the way of a temperature drop inside the battery case, which is exactly what I was expecting. Um, sadly, I will try this on some actual drives where I will use it before the fast charging and after the fast charge. The trouble with doing it on a drive, it is very hard to tell whether it's effective or not. And for completeness sake, here's the LeafSpy data. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, LeafSpy Pro allows you to log all this lovely data, including the voltages of all 96 cells in the main battery pack and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so I've got the four temperatures from inside the battery and they look like this, which is a bit more complicated than I had hoped it would be. So the temperatures on in the battery are pretty straightforward. This is the T1 sensor, which is the sensor there in the back of the battery pack. So my blower is sitting over the top of the disconnect here and pointing right there. So there's cold air being blown there. There's a temperature sensor inside the battery in there. And here, this is where the other ones are. So those four sensors all kind of make sense. I faffed about for ages for about half an hour trying to get the um, blower to actively cool the air whilst still only on the 12 volt battery. I was faffing about for half an hour and then I gave up on that and switched into drive mode and the air conditioning really kicked in and there's a tiny little drift down. Now when you look at this you can make a pretty good argument to say actually it's drifting down from about here. So there was some warm air blowing over the battery for this period of time and then it got cooler. Um, so this is a whole hour's worth of data and these are the complicated issues here. This is the ambient temperature as measured by LeafSpy and this is the temperature of the motor as measured by leaf spy. Uh, so this I find really bizarre. 
Uh, it was trucking along and then it dropped two degrees and then it suddenly ramped up four degrees at about the time that I was switching to drive mode. But of course I was still parked in the driveway. I wasn't turning the motor at all. But there's obviously something interesting going on when you turn the car into drive. Something going on inside the motor. Um, so that's peculiar. I was plotting these to try and get a sense of whether this was drifting down just because the ambient temperature was also drifting down. But um, the this supposed ambient purple line uh, completely screws up that theory. So if this really was ambient temperature rising from 24 degrees up to 28, it's a 4 degree rise and the battery temperatures went down 1 degree, um, almost, uh, then that's like a 4 degree, 3 degree delta. Um, does that mean it's actually doing something after all? This is going to be a nightmare to actually get anything conclusive in terms of whether or not this blower is effective or not. Yeah, so, hmm, that is peculiar. Oh, I've got the 3D print design files for these up on my mini factory page. So feel free to print those out yourself and give it a go. This is a Dyson vacuum cleaner hose. Oh, and the other thing is this is designed for the ZE0 leaf, the 2011 leaf. It's, I think the ZE1 leaf, the 40 kilowatt hour leaf, has a different shape vent. So it will only work for the early leafs. Yeah, well, so, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.